Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Next Commentary playing uh, Victor Midlane versus a Twisted Fate. This, oh wait. Huh. Yeah, I think it's versus Twisted Fate. I think. <clears throat> I have cleanse because Twisted Fate is just absolute menace for setting up ganks. I didn't want to deal with it, although not taking TP means that if he ever ports and tries to kill my team, I can't follow it up, which is one of the main things of taking TP versus Twisted Fate. If you at least can match him, sometimes you can uh, ruin his first uh, ultimate, and then after you beat his first ultimate, like uh, he just falls behind because he, he kind of tries to get other people ahead more than himself. I'm going to scale immensely hard. I picked Victor mainly because these guys have like a ton of consistent and tanky damage dealers. So it's a consistent damage dealer pick. If I picked Zoe here, like imagine if these two get fed, just completely useless champion versus these two. So you want to just shake hands trade? No. Okay. Well, you didn't even bother going for it. Oh, you started with E. All right. Now it makes sense. Uh, I should be stepping up further for these trades. You want to get in his face and then Q and auto at the same time, but he's walking away as I'm using my Q buffer, so it's actually kind of fucking me up. There we go. That was better. Now I actually got the Q off. The reason why it looked like my uh, ability did no damage there, by the way, is because he actually uh, popped his Corrupting Potion at the same exact time as me hitting him, so... Oh, how did that miss? Pretty cool skin, though. Um, he had no Corrupting Potion stacks left, so... And he was trying to go for the cannon and trying to fix the wave, so I'm just gonna fight him in the wave. Like, I, I just deal, like... <laughs> he doesn't deal enough damage to kill me, so... Um, it's too risky for me to stay here, so I'm just gonna back off. I don't want to get dove. Let's go for this build path this game. We go for the Archangels. Archangel Archangels is really strong if you're able to actually stack it early on. And, uh... If I get fed, it will deal so much damage, and I can do that instead of Lich Bane this game. This guy has Flash here. Oh, there's no way, right? Nice. Pretty good. I already have uh, so many stacks of my um passive. It's great. I need to put down some vision control. I have two wards. I want it kind of deep as well. I got maybe enemy raptor or something. Oh my god. God, I must have pressed Q on nothing, because I did press it in time, but I must have misclicked. That is so unlucky. Whenever I use my E to harass people, by the way, I'm making sure that I'm using it on a creep as well as him, so I get to push the wave while also harassing him. Just makes it a lot easier to uh, get a... Because pushing is important. Pushing allows pressure, so you can get good vision control down, or force them to miss CS, or use their ability on the wave to clear it, or have the minions hit them, you know. It's really quite good. I want to clear this. It should be safe. It's literally a Mundo jungle. If he comes, then I just phase rush and run away. There's really no threat. As well as having no cleanse as well. I mean, uh, having cleanse available. Ah, 
that was definitely, I think, a good trade for us. If I reach level 6, I can actually kill this guy now. Depends on if he decides to just reset here. If he resets, I'll reset. If he doesn't reset, I'll stay. He's gonna Q these, right? Q this cannon? Nope. Oh, there he goes. Continues queuing. He's really afraid of a gank right now, so... Like, I'm freezing it, and if he steps up and my jungler comes, he's just dead. So he has to queue from super far away. Which sucks for him, because, I mean... He's losing a lot of creeps here, as you can see, so... I'm kind of pressuring my advantage by making him feel threatened that he can't step up ever. Let's prep this one. up kind of bad. In fact, everyone is just dead or what? Yeah, quadra kill for that guy I guess. Hmm. Kind of unfortunate. I think my team just Really misplayed by doing that fight. I mean, Hecarim unfortunately got caught up by Mundo, and Mundo has six, and Hecarim does not, so he just hard loses. Kind of just threw my entire lead away. A wheel. We still scale immensely harder than this guy, so as long as we make it to like two items, we'll be fine. This guy's also pretty far up, so this guy should die here. He has no flash. He also just used his card as well. Oh, nice. He even gave me the kill. How oh, thoughtful. Nah, I should be able to wave flare so easily. I used both my sums, so now I'm gankful. His spell book. He didn't swap anything. Oh my god. I did not mean to walk into those. Okay, nice top kill. Oh, how do I get hit by that as well? Fuck. He might just dive me. Okay, trying to wave flare fast, so hopefully if there is a Mundo behind me, I don't just die. Here comes the Twisted Fate bot lane, right? Yeah, here he comes. So, I'm already on the way because I kind of knew that this would happen, so... Pretty sure it's just lost, though. Team's kind of lost. Stopwatch. Unlucky. If he didn't have stopwatch there, he was dead for sure. I guess I could have just went for the um, Senna instead, but I mean, it's kind of hindsight. I wasn't paying attention to the stopwatch in the first place, so. Should I go with this? Maybe not. Let's try a different build path. We'll go for the 
Oh, Landry's is really, really good against tanks, and these guys are pretty tanky this game, so this one should be fine. Need to kill this guy, man. He's so fed. So rigorously fed. Oh no. Nice, dude. Well played. Yeah, Victor actually has such good peel for his teammates. I mean, if somebody's being chased and is actually low, people will always walk into your gravity field and just stun themselves. It's actually so nice. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hmm. I think that this is lost, no? Yeah, this seems like lost fight. Senna is just healing this guy so much. There's nothing I can do to help them. That was a little bit too forced, I think. We don't need to do anything like that. <laughs> it's whatever, though. Okay, nice. The ignite was enough. Even though this guy is so fed, I'm not really too worried. All it takes is one kill on, like, anyone. I, c I believe literally our whole entire team has the potential to carry with the champions that we're playing. Richter can carry, Kai'Sa can easily carry, Akron can carry. Even Teemo, for sure, is a champion that can carry when he gets fed. Might need to build Void Staff early on. Because we do have Teemo, though. Because we have double AP. Thankfully, they didn't go Merc Treads. You know, that would have sucked. I hate playing versus uh, Merc Tread champions. Is this risky or stupid of me to do? No. Renekton must be bought then? What? Like, where is he? There he is. There's no way I can rotate to that fast enough. They're probably just gonna die. Oh wow, wait, no death? Yeah, oh, sick. I have my item. I'm probably just gonna have to buy and maybe rotate and just completely ignore bot here rather than be 1v1 versus this Renekton. No? No fighting, right? Just give the rift. It sucks and we are playing from behind, but I feel like we outscale so hard. <clears throat> The only person that actually outscales really hard is the Mundo. That's it. Yeah, we can kill this guy. We'll sac up, sacrifice the Rift Herald, but we can kill this guy. He's literally sitting inside this brush right now. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Oh, but he's here still? They're on the Rift, no? It must be. Get, it's going to get taken any second now, I swear. And yeah, there we go. Uh, TF might port on me. Dude, I'm just actually so unlucky. I 
I think I could have survived that, actually. I barely, barely died. If I did not get it by Sun Ulti, I actually would have survived. And Hecarim probably could have finished them off because I could actually kite it. Oh, now I have no sums. Bummer. Oh well. We shall just wait for our moment to come back into the game. We got a Mundo kill in the meantime, so... At least my team was able to get something done. You want to go bot? That's fine, I guess. I can go top. Oh, wait. I don't have TP. This is really awkward. Okay, I can go top and I can pressure, but... I probably should immediately leave after pushing out a wave, because we might want to play for this Ocean Dragon Soul. Or not Ocean Dragon Soul, but the Ocean Dragon, which is normally playing towards the soul, but we're not even close to that yet. So, Why is this guy pushing so hard? Oh, my ulti? Are you sure? Alright. My ulti is it's strong, but I don't know if it's a airy slug type thing. Guy's dead. Don't think he's doing enough. Oh, okay. He have ever cross. Just kidding. But that was 100% worth for us, so I don't really care. That guy used flash. I'm pretty sure Silas used flash as well. So TF flash. Renekton used flash. The reason why I'm saying that that was good for us, by the way, is because uh, we don't really have shutdowns, and they did. So we actually just, if we go even. It's actually a massive win for us. This guy was worth 900 gold. So it's more like 6 kills versus 3. Even though it was a 3 for 3 or 4 for 4, four or whatever. But we lose the dragon. That's the biggest issue. But until they actually finish all of them, I'm not too scared yet. If they get all of them, Mundo, I guess, will become an actual god and just unkillable. I might have to go Void Staff really early this game. Um, is that guy just inting? What? Well, what about the dragon? Oh, dang, they got it before I could even get there. Okay, back bot I go. Right? Oh, wait. Oh, this is good fight. Oh, I thought Hecarim could go in behind these guys here. No? You can't? I'm literally hitting so much. Yeah. This is just an easy dub. The reason why it's easy is because it's 45, and also we have uh, a lot of ultis available for crowd control, and they have no flash. Like Twisted Fate, uh, Senna, and like. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do? How are they ever going to be able to kill us? And how are they also going to survive uh, against all of our crowd control that we have? This is so awkward. I'm like trying to get to this. Hey, Mundo's dead again. Nice. Should be ours. 
we do it way too fast. Now I have my Archangels. The game should basically be over at this point. I don't see how they would come back from this. Their chance was through the Ocean Dragon, but I think they're too far behind now. Now I have a bunch of AP. Mm, this guy might overchase for this. Oh, Hacker Multi. Now we might overchase, because the Silas does have... Silas does have a Hacker Molt, which is a lot of crowd control. Like, if he gets on the squishy character, it could be really scary. room. We still have Baron. We can push if we really want to. I feel like our 5v5 is just stronger than theirs at this point. They just don't have enough damage. Let's see. Demo's not wrong. Like Pushing side is better. Solo Q, who cares? This guy's ulti has to be expiring soon. Actually, yeah, it's extremely soon that it's expiring. These guys are stepping on a lot of shrooms, by the way. Oh my god, that guy messed up so badly. I don't know if you guys saw what that guy just did, but it was not good. He like flashed over the wall trying to Hecker multi, but didn't have the ulti available, so he just flashed over the wall and just stood there. Because <laughs> it just expired. Playing Victor just feels so natural. Like, it just feels like I deal so much damage and have so much teamfight presence. I really go void. Why not? This is really strong, this game. Go that. And I'll let you maybe. I'm not gonna go any defensive. I'm feeling pretty confident with cleanse. Getting this dragon will be huge. If they get it and somehow win this fight, you know how we've been winning every fight, but let's say we lose now. Basically, the whole entire time that we have been winning and getting these leads is completely negated. We have to win this because if they get it, they'll only be one dragon away from. Um... Play slow. There's literally nothing that this guy can do. We just play slow. Nice. By the way, if you're able to get first set up with Victor, his control through his gravity field, like putting inside of a choke and making them have to walk through it is really, really, really strong. Like putting inside this tiny choke here. It's kind of OP on the blue, uh, blue side. On purple side, you, you can do it like inside this choke, I guess, but it's just not as effective. So far here. Yeah. I mean, there's 
just no way out. This the guy has a, a rapid fire cannon, so he can stun me from so far away. Uh, I just have no opportunity to actually get out of that. I think if I maybe I don't know. Think about if there was an opportunity where I could maybe kill them, but I don't think so. I mean, he even had Everfrost. Kaisa is so strong now. Are we just gonna kill the Mundo again? This guy dies all the time, so. Five v five. Oh. Ow! 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 Ha! <laughs> literally gets one shot, man. My god. Holy shit. I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, nice. Alistair pulled rise. Alistair went for a good flank there, but that, that was an absolutely nutty hacker multi, so well played by him. The reason why I was taking so long for us to engage is basically we were waiting for Alistair to get a flank off, and the Alistair flank made it so they forced themselves into this choke. I'm not saying that we knew that they were going to force themselves into this choke, but... Um... It's always good when your, uh, like, engage uh, has time to set themselves up to put themselves inside the best situation there, because if, if Hecarim went in before Alistair was ready, maybe it could have went really bad and they could have... Uh, done stuff. So we're kind of just like Baron dancing, and we weren't really doing anything until Alistar was in position. That's why I was looking at the I was looking at the mini map there, seeing what's happening. So yeah, I mean, you could see I did actually the most damage in the game, surprisingly. Um, even though like people had like crazy kill lines and stuff, I'm contributing a lot inside these team fights. Victor is a super strong champion. I love playing him. He just feels like he's so, so strong. Don't know what this is. I feel like this guy was somewhat tilted, but. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary on Victor, and this game also brings me back in Challenger because it looks like I was about to demote, so nice, I didn't demote. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you like my videos, be sure to check out my highlight channel, which is for edited videos, if you like kind of meme type videos. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, uh, yeah, I don't know. I already said uh, if you did, uh, I guess, drop a like, so drop a like again, I don't know. I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching.